For a long time, people have been interested in the idea of aliens. The first written record of aliens was in a funny story by a writer named Lucien of Samosata. In the story, Lucien talks about going to the moon and imagining what kind of strange creatures might live there, like birds with three heads or fleas as big as elephants. Even now, 2,000 years later, we still enjoy writing stories about going on big adventures to meet aliens from other planets, like in the book Hitchhiker's Guide. These stories are entertaining and inspiring, and we always wonder if they might come true someday in real life. When scientists search for life beyond Earth, they consider two possibilities. They may find simple, tiny life forms like microbes in our own solar system, or they may detect signals from advanced intelligent life forms far away in the universe. It's important to remember that not all alien life is the same, and we may encounter many different forms of life if we do discover it. We're not talking about a galaxy far, far away like in Star Wars. Instead, we're looking at other stars that are close by. This is really exciting because if we found intelligent life, it would change how we think about ourselves in the universe. For the last 80 years, scientists have been searching for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence through programs called SETI. They are looking for signals that might be a way of saying hello from other beings in space. Scientists believe that radio waves are the best way for intelligent life to communicate because they can travel long distances without getting blocked by dust and gas in space. So, if there is anyone out there trying to talk to us, they might be using radio waves. Breakthrough Listen is a very exciting project that aims to find evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. It's the largest research program of its kind and is funded by Russian entrepreneurs. Julia and Yuri Milner, who are investing as $100 million over 10 years. The Breakthrough Listen project is focused on searching for unnatural radio signals coming from the nearest 1 million stars. To accomplish this, scientists are using telescopes all around the world, such as the Murraying Dish in Australia and the Meerkat Array in South Africa. The search is massive in scale, but there are other projects looking for alien life as well. The Allen Telescope Array is a special radio telescope located in the Cascade Mountains north of San Francisco. It was built specifically for the purpose of searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. This facility is very important for the search for alien life because it can operate every day of the year. Currently, the project is upgrading its technology to improve its ability to search for signals. This is part of the SETI Institute, a nonprofit research organization dedicated to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI Institute is exploring the possibility of detecting signals that could be explained as space lasers used for communication or spacecraft propulsion by advanced civilizations. Scientists believe that detecting such signals would require specialized instruments placed in different parts of the world. These instruments are being developed and deployed to search for these mysterious flashes in the night sky. While we're still waiting for any definitive results, this is an exciting area of research to follow. As of now, no such signals have been found yet. The vastness of the universe further complicates the search for intelligent life. It's hard to comprehend just how big the universe is. To put it into perspective, humans have been using radio waves to communicate across long distances since 1901. However, the first transatlantic signal has only traveled 122 light years which is just a tiny fraction of a percent of the stars in our own Milky Way galaxy. This means that even if there are advanced civilizations out there, it may be impossible for us to ever communicate with them due to the immense distances involved. In simpler terms, even though it's unlikely that we will ever be able to meet or communicate with aliens due to the vast distances in space, we can be optimistic that they exist somewhere out there. With the sheer number of galaxies, stars, and planets in the universe, it's hard to believe that we are the only intelligent life forms. While we can't accurately predict the exact number of possible civilizations, our best estimates suggest that there could be tens of thousands of them out there. Indeed, the search for life beyond Earth is ongoing and multidimensional. While the search for intelligent life may be a daunting task, the exploration of our own solar system offers hope for discovering basic life forms. 
with advances in technology and continued space exploration, it's exciting to think about the possibilities that await us in the quest for extraterrestrial life.